complete the rendered sequence, um, let's assign some materials and, um, and render disk. So we're going to add in a material library, which we'll attach uh, to the end of this uh, dome light here. And that allows us to go in and add materials. We can also add them using the material library here. If we open up the slash stage slash material library, we can just drag them into here. So one of the things we can do is just drag a glass into here. And we can also bring in uh, other things. Let's bring a second glass in. So we use one for the, and then we're gonna bring in, uh, let's say a copper for the bullet. And then we uh, can begin to tinker with these. So let's give these names that, that help it make it easier to assign them. So this will be the wine, um, the glass, very obvious the wine we're going to change the index of refraction refraction to, to, to suit wine and change some other parameters to get that to work properly so in this case here we're not going to change the color of the light um, but we're going to change the, the transmission color and also the reflectivity so 0 0.2 for reflectivity and transmission color this is where we're going to add in the wine color so it's just um, 0.2, 0, 0, gives us a sort of reddish, dark reddish color. And we're going to do something called at a distance. So the as we look through the surface, um, the color is going to show up appropriately. Now once we get that, uh, we can go here and just see those three materials that we're working with right now. Uh, they have not been assigned anything yet, but that's a good start. We're going to go assign material. Click here. So what we need to do now is take the geometry, so like the wine glass, and then we click on material path and we choose glass to make that a glass. And you see automatically we're going to see in the viewport that start to update as that gets assigned. And we're going to use the same node to make all the assignments we have here, um, just to make things more straightforward. So we plus sign. The next thing we do is we bring the wine and we drag on to the next one and we're going to put the bullet on the one up above. And in each case we're going to say we're going to get wine for here and we're going to get the bullet uh, which is the copper here. And there we go. We're starting to see the scene. You notice how Karma will do a rough rendering and then start to resolve that a little bit faster as things go by. Uh, we're actually using the denoiser, which is the one of the buttons on the side, uh, which will allow it to resolve even faster. I always have that on by default, but um, if we go tab Karma, we get our render settings and we can begin to This is basically how we're going to render, what's the resolution we're going to render, what kind of files are we going to save, all that set up here. So we go render, wine glass, $f.exr, exr being the format that we're going to use. Now, it's going to be 1280 by 720. You can up that if you want, but uh, for this being, a, let's say, a test render, you, know, you can also do render qualities, primary samples, and other render qualities here. Um, you can begin to tinker with those, but again, for first test render, you know, you might want to just go with what you've got. And for image output, we can go to filters and say we want the optics denoiser to be part of this. So again, it will resolve the noise a little bit faster. Now, we click on the next node, this is the one that actually renders to disk. So this is where you specify your frame range and you render, uh, press the render button and so I'll press save and, and then render to disk. And this one is designed uh, to follow the settings of the node above it. And then it will use those settings to render to disk. So we're gonna render, fade away, come back. And then we can go render, and play, load the files under render, wine glass, there we go, and press load. And here we have the final rendering using all the settings that we just made. So now you've created a, a full simulation with RBD, 
fluids, set it up with USD to render with Solaris in the Houdini um, lighting environment.